Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining what you should include in a Korean introduction, helping you guys with pronunciation and things like that. So, if you guys have not watched the previous parts to this video where I explain what you should include in an introduction in general, then make sure to go watch that. I will include those two videos in the description box. Originally, I actually did want to make this video a little bit after I have uploaded more of the Korean lessons, but a lot of you guys were asking for it, so I was like, well, why not? I'll just upload it now since I have written the script and prepared and everything. And I'll leave the Korean series playlist link in the description box, and more are definitely coming, so please wait for those. So for the Korean part that I'm going to be teaching you guys about, for the pronunciation, I would We'll do it at the end of the video where it's slow and at the normal pace so you guys can follow along and repeat with me. So on a general level, when a company asks you to film an introduction and they specifically ask for that, then you should do it in a language that you're actually fluent in. So preferably it would be English, not Korean. But if you're fluent in Korean, obviously go for that. However, there are certain situations where the company might ask you to do it in Korean. So some examples of that would be like the Boys Planet audition, where they actually ask you to do an introduction in your native language as well as Korean. And they might ask you to do it in like a weekly audition, like a one-on-one -on -one Zoom audition, if they are interested in you. Kind of like how the SM weekly audition went for me. Like they also asked me to introduce myself in both Korean and English. So that's how it would work. And lastly, when you're in the second round, they will most definitely ask you to do some sort of introduction, whether that be English or Korean, and there's a high chance that they might ask you to do it in Korean. So because you might not be as fluent in Korean than other languages, your Korean introduction can be more condensed and shortened just depending on your fluency level and how you want to pronounce things, because some words you might not be able to pronounce very well. And related to that, I also got another question that asked, does pronunciation matter within your Korean introduction or are they mainly looking for the content of what you say? Honestly, they're looking for both, but if they ask for both your native language introduction and your Korean introduction, then they are most definitely looking at your pronunciation. And not to worry, your pronunciation skills aren't going to make or break it into the company, so don't really worry about that too much. Obviously, having better pronunciation is better, but a lot of K-pop idols start out with not so great pronunciation. Like, just look at really any K-pop idol that's foreign and not from Korea, then you can see that. So before we get into what you should actually include, obviously I'm not going to include every single possible thing you could say, that's impossible, but on a general level what you should include and maybe some common phrases that you might need in an introduction. If there are some words or phrases that you wish to include in your introduction but I don't say, which is highly likely because you're going to make your own introduction with your own personal information, then you can use translator apps such as like Papago, and I actually do have a video where I kind of like showcase different Korean learning apps. So that is coming soon, but for now you can use Papago, that is the best one, or even Naver to check your pronunciation or check some translating words. So now that we've discussed all of those things, let's actually get into what you should include in your introduction and the pronunciation of those things. So firstly is an introduction of yourself, like a very short personal information kind of thing. So what I'll kind of do is write the Korean version, right? here as like subtitles and I won't include the romanized version because you don't need romanized that's only going to prevent you from learning Korean as it is so learn how to read hunger before that is a basic step I did really want to make that video before I made this but like I said it didn't really work out so I will actually teach you how to pronounce it so there is no need for romanization so this part would be 안녕하세요 저는 18살 so I said your yodor side because I am 18 in Korean currently in 2022. So how do you find your Korean age, which you should use in terms of Korean um, introductions? So it would be 2022 or whatever year you're watching this video minus your birth year and then plus one. So for me, that would be 2022 minus 2005 and that's 17. So plus one is 18. So I would say your yodor side. So to repeat, that would be 안녕하세요. 저는 your yodor side. 아이린입니다. And replace Irene with your name, obviously. 저는 한국인이고 현재 캐나다에 살고 있습니다. So you could say you are from this country or you live in it. So let's say you're just Korean living in Korea, then you don't need to include that you live in Korea. But for me, where I live is different to where I was from and born, so you might want to include that. So for these things, make sure you use a translator so you can get all of the vocabulary correct. I can't just sit here and list out all of the nationalities that are possible in Korean, so you can search that up on your own. Moving on to why you want to become an idol. 
So you would say, 제가 아이돌이 되고 싶은 이유는 blah 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 입니다. So that blah 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 part, I can't really write it for you. Otherwise, everyone's introduction is going to sound the same and you're not going to be unique. And I don't know why you want to become an idol, to be honest. So I just wrote down the little basic format you should put it in. And then you could include how you first found out about K-pop. So that would be 저는 blah blah blah. So that blah 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 part would be how you actually figured out K-pop. 처음 K-pop을 알게 되었고. So that would be, that's how I figured out about K-pop. And then next, it would be 오디션에 대해 관심을 가지게 되었습니다. So because of this, I gained interest in wanting to audition. By the way, I have notes. That's why I'm looking down on the screen. And then next, why you specifically want to audition for this company. So let's just take SM for example. Then you would say, 저는 SM의 스타일 or 아티스트들이 멋있다고 생각해서 오디션을 하게 되었습니다. So for me, I included my example as style or artists. So I found SM style and their artists interesting and that's why I decided to audition is kind of what I said. The next was special about yourself. So these would be your talents and your hobbies. Let's start off with talents. So it would be 저의 특기는, so 특기 is your talents. 저의 특기는 바이올린 연주, 태권도, anything really, 입니다. So for hobbies, it would really be the exact same format except you replace 특기, which is talents, with 취미, which is hobbies. So for the languages that you know, 저는 언어를 총 3개 할수 있습니다. So you could say how many languages you know, and then you can list them out. 영어, 한국어, 그리고 프랑스어입니다. So next, you want to include your experience with training. So if you've received dancing lessons for three years, you would say, 저는 3년 동안 춤 레슨을 받았습니다. So chum is dancing, but if you wanted to say vocal, then it would be 보컬. Let's say you've received training at a specific company, then you would say, 저는 SM에서 트레이닝을 3년 동안 받았습니다. So for awards, it would honestly follow the same kind of formatting, but you would say, 저는 blah 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 상을 5년 전에 받 5년 전에 받았습니다. So like I received this specific award five years ago, like that. And if you wanted to say that you got accepted into a company once for the final round, then you would say 합격 받았습니다. So 합격 is acceptance. And then conclusion. You could really say anything here, just any sort of conclusion. But what you definitely want to say is 잘 부탁드립니다. So that kind of translates to please treat me well or please see me well. It's really not a direct translation of what you could say in English as a conclusion, but in Korean, it's honestly very formal and necessary to say that when you are being interviewed, when you are being casted, whatever. Just say 잘 부탁드립니다. So now I'm going to be repeating all of the Korean phrases slowly and then at a normal pace. 안녕하세요. 저는 열여덟 살 아이린입니다. 저는 한국인이고 현재 캐나다에 살고 있습니다. 제가 아이돌이 되고 싶은 이유는 입니다. 저는 애 처음 K-팝을 알게 되었고 오디션에 대해 관심을 가지게 되었습니다. 저는 애 스타일이 멋있다고 생각해서 오디션을 하게 되었습니다. 저의 특기는 입니다. 저의 취미는 입니다. 저는 언어를 총 3개 할수 있습니다. 입니다. 저는 3년 동안 춤 레슨을 받았습니다. 저는 에서 2년 동안 트레이닝을 받았습니다. 저는 상을 5년 전에 받았습니다. 잘 부탁드립니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 18살 아이린입니다. 저는 한국인이고 현재 캐나다에 살고 있습니다. 제가 아이돌이 되고 싶은 이유는 입니다. 저는 에 처음 K-팝을 알게 되었고 오디션에 대해 관심을 가지게 되었습니다. 저는 SM의 스타일이 멋있다고 생각해서 오디션을 하게 되었습니다. 저의 특기는 입니다. 저의 취미는 입니다. 저는 언어를 총 3개 할수 있습니다. 입니다. 저는 3년 동안 춤 레슨을 받았습니다. 저는 SM에서 2년 동안 트레이닝을 받았습니다. 저는 상을 5년 전에 받았습니다. 잘 부탁드립니다. So you don't have to go as fast as me. This is only for practice. And if you say things faster, then it's easier when it's slowly. So that's why I decided to include this in here. And if you're still confused about a pronunciation and thought I said it wrong, that's fine. Then you can use, again, a translator app to 
write things down. That's why I wrote the Korean captions under here. And I'll also leave that little part in the description if that's necessary for you, if you want to copy and paste things and make your life easier. So that is it for everything you should include in a Korean introduction. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited for the Korean lesson series, guys, that's coming up. And I've decided that all the Korean lesson series will be filmed in here. Today it looks really dark because it is literally at night. I don't know why I'm filming this at night, but I am. And the tweed outfit of the day, it's like semi-casual tweed. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment down this emoji if you made it until here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.